everyone, it's Melissa Phillips, and today's Make It Monday is all about dressing up envelopes. Just in fun and creative ways to make them special and to get more use out of your stamps. And all we're going to start with is an A2 craft envelope and our Edgers number no. 2 die. First we're going to die cut the flap and it fits perfectly right into this Edgers number no. 2 die. Run that through our die cut machine and this is what we end up with. A beautifully scalloped edge. And then we're going to start adding our stamping on top of that. So I grabbed my stitches and swirls stamp set and I'm going to emboss my images so I'm going to start with watermark ink on my image and I like the stamp to flow from the front of the envelope to the back so I'm going to open up the flap like this and just stamp directly over the fold Okay, now I'm going to coat it with white embossing powder and heat that up and show you the results. Okay, here are the results after I've added heat to our white embossing powder. Uh, but I want to add some more color, so I'm going to use more images from the Stitches and Swirls stamp set. And I'm going to emboss them in pink. Zing Blush embossing powder just to bring in some more color. So I'm just going to add images here and there in pink or excuse me with the watermark ink and then I'm going to go back in and coat it with them, the blush embossing powder and heat that up and I will show you the results. I love craft with white and some pastels on top. I think it's such a pretty and fresh color combination. Okay. This is what uh, the envelope looks like after I've added the heat embossing. Just pretty. I like how it trails down one edge of the card and kind of over onto the flap. So our next step is I wanted to add a second layer to the flap of the envelope. So I went ahead and I used a rustic cream cardstock, cut the same width of the flap as the flap of the envelope, and then I used my Edgers number no. 2 die just to cut a coordinating piece that will add some contrast underneath the flap of our of our envelope. So all we've got to do there is adhere that in place. I use Beacon Fabri-Tac. Um, that's my go-to glue. I have a lot of questions about that. And I use it for paper, I use it for buttons, ribbons, bulky embellishments. They all seem to work perfectly. So that's what our envelope looks like there. Next thing we'll do, um, we will go ahead and add a label on the front. And for my envelope today, I've used the Boutique Borders Thanks die and stamp set. Um, but you could use any one of Paper Tray's several different varieties of labels for the front of your card. And we'll go ahead and get started with that. I've gone ahead and die cut and stamped Rustic Cream cardstock using that die I mentioned and Smoky Shadow ink. Okay, so I'm going to start with the center letter just so I get everything lined up and centered on my label. So, stamping the O using Sweet Blush ink and the Stitched Alpha stamp set. And then I'll just add the M, the M's around that. And there we have Mom, all ready to go. Okay, before I adhere the label to the front of the envelope, I'm just going to add some 
embellishment behind it just by adding strips of ribbon. And I've cut two small strips of sweet blush grow grain and I like to cut them into a V at the end. So I fold the ribbon in half and then I cut down from the fold and it just forms a nice decorative edge. So fold and then cut downward. And I've got two tabs and then I also used vintage cream twill and I'm just going to layer on top of that and then add my label over the top just to add a little bit of interest. So we'll adhere those down and then I've also used um, some vintage cream buttons and I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them on the sides. So I'm using vintage cream ink and the stamp image from Postmarks. Just turning to colors that will tie in with the envelope. And then the border, the scalloped border of the stamp image, I'm going to stamp in classic craft ink. Okay, and my theme for this card is honeybees, and in just a minute I'll show you stamps that, uh, from the honeybee stamp set that we're going to use to embellish it, but the Postmarks set actually has a cute little honeybee that I'm going to stamp in smoky shadow ink right here to the center of the stamp. I'm going to use Smoky Shadow ink again, right here. I'm not sure what you would call those, but... And then the 45 cent stamp image. I'm going to add to it. Okay, we've got that done. So, next step... I used the Honeybee stamp set and dies, and I've used rustic cream cardstock once again. And I'm going to use the large honeybee and one of the, the medium sized honeybees. Okay, so I've die cut using rustic cream cardstock two honeybees, and I've stamped the body in sweet blush and the wings and the rest of the, the bee using smoky shadow. Okay, all we need to do to dress up our envelope, our uh, sample envelope we're doing here, is some dimensional adhesive. Just going to attach it right to the back of the large honeybee. And then just find a place on your card where you think it needs to go. We'll put it there. And then we will do the very same thing with the smaller honeybee. Just some dimensional adhesive to make it pop. And then find a little location for it. Okay, then I just use some clear rhinestones and I'm going to add them to the honeybees and also to my label here on the front to tie everything together and bring in a little shimmer and then right here on the back okay the only thing that's missing and you don't have to add this but you've got plenty of room down here on the bottom for a sentiment and the sweet or the honeybee stamps that has so many cute ones I decided to go ahead and stamp my original with the Be Happy. So once again I've just um, 
snipped a small strip of sweet blush grosgrain. I'm going to fold it and cut away from me, downwards toward the V. And it's going to just be tucked right here under the flap, centered. And then a vintage cream button, about medium in size, and it's just going to go right there. And our envelope is finished. Um, of course you can create a coordinating card. Um, I just used a, I was in a hurry, so I used a printable that I found online that had a beehive on it, which I thought was so cute, but it had room for a sentiment, which was perfect. So I used the sentiment from the Honey Bee stamp set, You're as sweet as honey, and then I used the small flowers and sweet blush just to bring in some color. But in a hurry, I've got a card and an envelope ready to give to my sweet mom. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you'll try this out, dress up those envelopes to create extra special gifts for someone that you love.